So, yo, we have to get we have we'll be right back. We got a couple more things we got to talk about before we let you go. But before we do, let's talk football. The round table is one of three shows that was on yesterday on what I have deemed TGIT. Thank God it's Tuesday, where we had Let's Talk Football NFC South, followed by Let's Talk Football the Round Table, followed by Let's Talk Fantasy Football. And these all three shows are great, informative, good stuff for you to hear. But one thing I really want to I want to uh, spotlight to you is there's a there's a show in the middle of that pack the round table and they are hilarious they are all jokes and they are really into it and uh, just stay tuned man they have they have so much fun. So I'm going to take the Lions plus three in this one over the Patriots. If anybody can tame a bird, it's definitely an ink. Now you see this is what I'm talking about, ladies and gentlemen. This gentleman is on the show. And yet during my segment, what is he doing? Playing around on his computer, making notes, telling jokes, trying to be a funny guy. Do I do that during your segment, sir? Do I sit there and make comments? Do I laugh at you? No, I do not, sir. What is, is this? I thought we had a better relationship than this. You know what? Don't make me go Shannon Sharp on you. Because I'm telling you, let me tell you something there, Skip. I don't think this is right. Because oh you be God. making comments during my segment. I don't think this is funny. I don't think it's funny at all. And let me tell you something else. When I was playing for the Broncos, I caught every pass that threw to me. Let me tell you something, Skip Bayless. That's what I'm saying to you. Take that. Oh so anyway, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yo, yo, jokes aside, uh, jokes aside, just, jokes aside uh, that is a dope Shannon Sharp impersonation. Uh, my- yo. That was awesome by Nick. That was awesome. That's hilarious. Shout out to my guy, Nicholas Rosario, Mr. I Want to Smoke. He is one of the three hosts of Let's Talk Football the Roundtables Tuesday night, seven or eight thirty Eastern, seven thirty Central, and you know all Mountain West and all that good stuff. So definitely tune into them. We're gonna keep this thing moving right along. I did want to answer this one right quick. Uh, Nathan said, "I guess my question is, uh, are we expecting Chase Young as in the second as a second coming? Got to hold the accountability. Accountability? No, we're not." Um, honestly, and that's one of the things that we kind of talked about with how two years ago we were all we were all overhyped because we saw, oh my goodness, look how great they're doing. Chase Young is a rookie of the year, but we played a Nick Mullins, a, a Nate Sudfeld, a, you know Daniel Jones. We played a series of quarterbacks that are not the top tier guys, and you know last year we got exposed. We saw that Chase didn't do great last year before he got hurt. Let's, I mean, hope hopefully we'll see what he can do when he comes back. But a lot of the things that we've been talking about, Will, and I know you can attest to this scheme, a lot of the issues playing complementary football along that line, these are the things that will make us better. And I would rather have him come back and play a role and be really good in his role as opposed to trying to be this world beater that he was at Ohio State because I, we need the team effort as opposed to one man. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah. The immediate part to that that question is no, I don't. I mean, I, I think the second half of the season when he comes back is going to be kind of getting his legs under him and and mm-hmm. uh, and and working him way his way back from an injury. But do I think he's going to be a second coming or a franchise player? Yeah, you got drafted number two overall. I drafted you to be that Lawrence Taylor type. I drafted mm-hmm. you to be that Joey Bosa, the the guy that the team is is scared of to to work around. So yeah, I do yeah. have very high high expectations of him for what will be year four, not right, right. now. Right, and, and 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 look, let's we don't even have to go that far. We can go back to the last game. We drafted you to be a Micah Parsons. We drafted you to be that, and you saw Micah Parsons on the field jawing to Chase Young, who was off the field. And to me, I mean, look to me, if I could just, if I could uh, put a little uh, uh, audio to that, it's like Micah saying, I'm on the field. Where are you at? You yeah. know what I mean? And I, yeah. I, no disrespect, I understand the injury and everything, but at the same time, that is what we expected. That is what mm-hmm. was hyped from 2020, that first year, and he has not lived up to that. Micah was a beast last year, and he has yeah. proven to be the same thing. Although, Janae, watch out, because he looked like that back was a little sore Oh, come on now. Let's get it. What's up, Anthony? Joining, watching the show. Uh Thanks for watching. If you like that clip, be sure to check out the other great content from the Let's Talk Football community. And as always, please like, subscribe, 
and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when more great content like this becomes available.